Hey guys, it's Bill with Competition Cars. I want to do um, a cold start video on this 545 mile 78 Chrysler New Yorker Brome. Um, and those of you that are seeing this video on YouTube, that may, you may be seeing it before the auction goes live on Bring a Trailer. The reason this car is not on my website, and I'm not giving you a price on it, is because it's going on Bring a Trailer, which is an online auction website. So there's no set price. I'm just li I'm going to list it on there. I bought this car for the purpose of selling it at on Bring a Trailer. So that's why. I don't know what the car is going to sell for. You'll have to bid on it. And the auction will typically go live a couple, two or three weeks after you probably see this car on uh, on YouTube. So I just want to explain that so you guys understand. The car has been very well preserved. This is the engine bay. Um, in my walk around video, I go over all that. I don't want to touch the manifolds. The nice and cold. The car has been uh, sit, sitting on the lot for couple of weeks um, it has been cranked in the last couple of days but it's you know it's actually cold right now we just washed it and rinsed it down so there's some a little bit of water debris under the hood and all that that's all it's from so let's go ahead and start it let it run we'll do a little bit of walk around outside the natural light so you can see it's got the 440 with four barrel power door locks work that fire truck go by. So anyway, I'll have Anthony kind of pan around the car in the natural light so you can see how nice the paint is. And it is all original. As I said in my initial walk around, you know, the car was not stored in a climate controlled atmosphere. So it has a little bit of, you know, uh, it's had some ex exposure to elements. So, you know, you got this little, tiny little bubble here, some touch ups on there. The chrome is extremely nice, but you know, you have a little bit of I mean, the back bumper looks pretty clear, but tiny, tiny, tiny little discoloration in the chrome. Again, these are things that you don't really see right off the bat. Another little spot right here, a little blister. And, uh, but nothing, nothing catastrophic or, or major. Interior is amazing. And I know I use the, I, I use the term perfect. I mean, it's close to perfect. There's a, I mean, it's just got a little neck here taken out. A um, little piece of uh, plastic got shipped there. But it looks great. It's clean. It looks. I mean, it just looks amazing. I mean, it's a really nice car. Uh, I got a lot of undercarriage pictures that you can see, so you can kind of see how it looks underneath. Very well preserved. Just an amazing find with 500 something miles on it. So, um, if you have any questions, ask in the ask in the uh, uh, in the comment section. I'll get back to you right away. Also, if you take a look here. This is the last time the car was registered in New Jersey, 1981. And um, you know the story behind the car is that this was a some eccentric professor in New Jersey that just loved these cars and would buy them and put them up, not drive them. So I'm um, glad that I found the car. I think you guys are going to enjoy it, whoever buys it. So, you know, uh, any questions, put them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And good luck, big guys. Thanks.